The first at four Queen City News is tracking a tropical storm barreling right towards the North Carolina coast. Strong winds and high waves along with some very heavy rain already pounding parts of the East Coast. Governor Roy Cooper signed a state of emergency this afternoon in preparation for the arrival of tropical storm Ophelia. A new video today from North Topsail Beach shows the impacts of the storm already. A high surf advisory and a tropical storm warning are in effect for that area as the National Weather Service warned of winds of up to 73 miles per hour. I'm taking a live look towards the storm from this tower camera off the coast of Cape Fear. Rain, wind and high surf threatening some potential damage. That flag just barely hanging on. The storm was upgraded to that tropical storm just this afternoon as it continues to gain strength. Andy Fox is in Rodanthe on the Outer Banks with how the conditions are looking there right now. I'm Andy Fox in Rodanthe, North Carolina at the Rodanthe Pier. Take a look down here. This is the desolate beach out here. Usually there's a lot of folks out here. You can see the pounding surf over there. We're actually sheltered from the wind. You can see the end of the Rodanthe Pier out there, and it really puts into perspective the height of the waves and how fierce and ferocious they are. We are under a storm surge warning. That means that for the next 36 hours, that there is a likelihood of storm surge somewhere between two and four feet. We do not have mandatory evacuations, but some have chosen to evacuate. And as we were coming into Rodanthe here on Hatteras Island, we saw a lot of cars going the other way. We are in for some tumultuous weather coming up the rest of the day into the night and tomorrow. In Rodanthe, North Carolina, I'm Andy Fox. Now back to you.